Yesterday and into this morning, various power outages hit some people on Oahu. This is the second round of outages after stormy conditions hit last week with the Waiau power plant offline. Joining us now is Hawaiian Electric spokesperson Darren Pai. Aloha and good morning, Darren. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good morning, Sam. Thanks, uh, thanks for having me this morning. So at last check, there were about 6,500 folks in Wahiwa near Schofield Barracks that were still without power this morning. What's the latest on the outages? Well, um, you know, thanks again. And, you know, we really want to thank our customers for hanging in there with us yesterday and into the night. Um, as we saw that there were very heavy winds across the island, particularly on the windward side, East Honolulu and Central Oahu. And as a result, we saw power outages, uh, really, especially in those areas. Um, when we have these kind of conditions, there can be outages as a result of a number of factors, such as trees or other vegetation blowing into the lines or coming into contact with the lines or sometimes uh, trees will fall and, and hit a line or sometimes uh, the lines will actually blow into and come into contact with each other and that can cause an outage as well so we still have crews that are currently working on outages um, you know in central oahu near schofield barracks um, and in some other locations up along the north shore and on the windward side uh, continuing to work on restoring to power to customers who uh, were unfortunately impacted yesterday and overnight. When we look at last week, moving to more of a, a macro level, obviously it was a, a different outage reason for those rolling blackouts. It was the Waiau power plant. You folks had the community meeting last night in Pearl City uh, to discuss with community members, and a lot of the concern was the future of electric rates. And, and you said, Hawaiian Electric said that when you don't know if the Waiau power plant moving to a, a turbine method that would be implemented in about 2029 if this would increase rates. Uh, how do you balance having these, these firm systems that the grid clearly needs to have in place with the potential for higher rates here? Well, really the aim is to have a combination of different sources of generation as we go into the future to reach the state's clean energy goals of 100% renewable energy, you know, having that combination of different resources, you know, firm renewable generation, more solar power, more wind power, um, you know, as we bring all of those different things together, you know, combined, you know, the, the objective is that those will help us combat what we have traditionally seen as the historic rising price of fossil fuels. You know, we know that over time, for decades, the price of fossil fuels has not uh, historically gone down. And so if we can bring all these other resources together, you know, then we can really uh, try to insulate ourselves against those kinds of economic forces that are beyond our control. Yeah, we are seeing a, a lowering of costs for things like solar uh, battery. The, the technology continues mm -hmm. to increase. Uh, as far as President Biden's inf uh, Inflation Reduction Act, the infrastructure bill, is there anything from those two pieces of legislation that Hawaiian Electric is working on getting to build more grid resilience? Well, uh, you know, as was announced by the Department of Energy last year, uh, we were selected for a federal grant to help us with uh, making improvements to make our grid more resilient. You know, as we've seen that there are just, you know, we're becoming more and more aware of different types of hazards, um, both natural and man-made, you know, that can occur. Um, and impact all of our infrastructure. And so when it comes to the electrical infrastructure, we're really looking at trying to improve our ability to make the grid resilient against things such as hurricanes, tsunami, wildfires, um, you know, other types of hazards, and not just make it more resilient, but also improve our ability to respond and restore power, um, you know, after these situations occur. You know, um, you can't make your grid immune to the fury of a hurricane, uh, but you can make it more resilient and you can improve your ability to bounce back afterward. All right, Darren, thank you so much for the updates and for the information. Appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you. Christine, we'll send